Here I am doing my YouTube required unboxing of my latest toy, the DJI Mini 4 Pro. And here I am now, about two hours later, with it all boxed back up and ready to go to Amazon. So what's happened between the time I unboxed it and now that's caused me to set it, you know, get ready to send it back to Amazon? Well, it kind of goes back to earlier this summer, but first let me preface this video by saying that I am a DJI drone user. I've flown one for about six years. I've flown the DJI Air a couple years ago, then I bought a DJI, a DJI Air 2 maybe three years ago. And recently, you know, when the, when the DJI Mini 4 Pro came out, you know, that kind of caught my attention. And I thought about getting one over the summer, but, you know, I kind of got pushed to the wayside. And it was only recently where I started thinking about getting another one. And I pulled it up on Amazon, and I found one that had a Fly More Plus combo. And it was about only about $60 more than the Fly More combo. And I noticed that the only difference between the two was this intelligent battery. So I'm like, oh, cool, okay, intelligent battery. That sounds like it's going to fly a little longer, and um, so why not? So I went ahead and bought it, and it showed up today, and I started my unboxing. Now, I know that the remote ID thing has been spinning around the drone world for about a year and a half. And I had an older drone, and it wasn't something that was built into my drone at the time, so I didn't really think much of it. I also had completely forgotten about all the extra details around these intelligent batteries. So, you know, I'm unboxing my drone and thinking, oh, it's going to be so cool to have a drone that's under 250 grams. So let's go weigh it, see how much it weighs, see if it's at that 249 gram threshold. So I put it on the scale, and to my surprise, it was 292 grams. It was at that moment when I started having this whole flood of memories come back from all those drone video reviews I watched earlier this year where they said that, you know, if you have the intelligent battery, you're not going to be under 250 grams. You're going to be over it. So I'm like, ah, that sucks. But, uh, okay, what's the big deal? What's the harm in it? So I started just doing a little research. Okay, you're like, what's really the difference between these two batteries? And, um, you know, my understanding was that if you're under 250 grams, then that's good as far as your freedoms and, you know, the sorts of rules you have to follow. And if you're over 250 grams, while it's still fine, it comes with a little, with some, you know, caveats or extra rules. You know, you had to make sure you registered it. You had to follow the, the drone rule, the flight rules, if you're over 250 grams, which, of course, is completely wrong. If you fly a drone, you have to follow the FAA rules. So that said, I kept going down this rabbit hole where I started finding more differences. And then at the same time, I was looking at the latest firmware release that everyone was so excited about, you know, about you can attach these drones to the goggles. Now, the goggles are more compatible with other drones, the goggles that come with the Avada, I think. Then I also noticed this one bullet that says if you fly with uh, an Intelligent Battery Plus, then your remote ID data will be broadcast. So apparently all the new drones have the remote ID broadcasting ability built into it. But again, you know, I'm not staying on top of all this stuff. Uh, so I did not know that. When I saw that this Intelligent Plus battery came with my drone, then the idea of you know, okay, so my, my, my drone's going to start, you know, broadcasting in the remote ID information, which at the time, you know, 30 minutes after the unboxing, I'm thinking, is that really that big a deal? Do I really care? So I keep looking at videos, and then I come across one where a guy actually demoed, okay, does it broadcast it if it has the intelligent battery in the Mini? And it does. Does it broadcast it if it doesn't, if it has the regular battery? And it does not. So I'm thinking, okay, well, that's cool. Um, and I started, that's when the bug of like, maybe I just return this and get the regular batteries popped into my head. I also started thinking about, well, maybe I'll just buy some of the regular batteries. And I'm thinking to myself, that's stupid. If I'm going to get the new batteries, why keep these old, these intelligent batteries I'm never going to use? So that's when I started thinking, oh, I'm going to box it up. Well, at the same time, I keep looking at videos. Then I came across this video about an app called Drone Scanner. It was created by a company called um, Drone Tag. 
And they also are creating these devices that are being sold on the market that you're supposed to attach to your drones. So your older drones, the ones that don't have the remote ID already built into them, can emit the remote ID signal. So like my Air 2 might be a candidate to buy one of these chips. Well, I started looking at this drone scanner app a little more carefully and I realized that you know, this does more than just kind of broadcast where your drone is. I saw another video where someone was showing you how it worked and you could actually do a flight path track of your drone on this app and shows you where you are flying it from. So it shows you where the pilot is. I did not think that was very cool. Now, these videos are like a year old. So I've been, been kind of just ignorant to all this information. Now, I don't want people knowing where I am when I fly my drones. Um, now, I also discovered that if you're under 250 grams, you do not have to adhere to the remote ID rules, which I thought was kind of cool. So it was at that point where I decided I'm just going to return this version of the drone I bought, this Fly More Plus. I'm returning it and I'm going to get the version that keeps the drone under 250 grams. Now, I don't know how reliable this drone uh, tracker app is, um, or drone scanner, I can't remember. I looked at reviews on the uh, Apple store and the reviews were pretty poor. I mean, like one and a half stars that didn't work and whatever, but I guess the potential of it working is there. And the last thing I need is someone rolling up on me with this app, finding out where I am and who knows what, just giving me trouble, robbing me, um, calling the cops on me. I don't know. I just don't need that kind of grief. So I'm returning this drone. I'm going to get the version with the regular batteries. Um, you know, it's pretty easy to return Amazon stuff. You just put it back in the box, take it up to UPS. They send it back. You get your money back. You buy your new drone and you know, you're kind of, I'm back to where I was. So if you're like me and you didn't follow up on this information, as closely as maybe you should have or I should have. Um, hopefully this video is of some use. I would say um, the remote ID thing is going to eventually get here and we're all going to get dinged by it and maybe at some point in time even if you have a drone under 250 grams the remote ID is going to start broadcasting but for now it's not so I want a drone that's not going to be broadcasting my position. Now what does that say about my Air 2? Am I going to buy one of those chips? So anyway like I said Hopefully this was of some use to you. Um, I'm looking forward to getting my drone, but this is the one with the regular battery, not the plus battery. So take it easy. Thanks for watching.